בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, בעזרת השם tonight we're going to learn שלום בית לסנס from ספר משכן ישראל. משכן ישראל is a wonderful ספר that goes to uh, a lot of practical lessons helping somebody who wants to be successful in marriage שלום בית to attain that level of success and Kedusha. Okay, so lesson number one. Al Kedushat Misfat Habayit on the topic of holiness for the mitzvah of Habayit. Bayit means house, but this is more than that. You see in the Gemara, in the Ora Torah, that refers to one's wife as Bayit, home. Right. Home, one's home is run by one's wife. All the structure of raising children, peace and harmony, and all the success of one's life is based on his wife. Therefore, when we say we give a bracha to each other, that you should be zoche to build a bait ne'eman be Israel, a trustworthy house among Israel, means that your wife and you together should build, should have a house that is fit for Shekhinah, for Hashem's presence come there, and from that house you will raise so many good children and so many successful uh, you know encounters you should have together and with others at your home so starts with Amru Begimara Nevuash Nistarachal Ledurot Nechtavda when Nevuash Lo Nistarachal Ledurot Lo Nechtavda it says in Gemara Masachet Migila Daf Yud Dalet Amud Aleph that the prophecy that is necessary for future generations are written in the holy books and that which is a process a prophecy that is temporary you need to know it right for future something that applies for that moment or you know for uh, the sarikh of the sha'a the need of the other or for the community that prophecy is not is not written in the in the holy books and that which is written right in the Sepharim as the prophecy of the prophets says Rambam Rambam Maimonides right is not just for the fact of you know history okay this is the history just Hashem mentions it to know this is the prophecy that he gave it to Daniel Hanavi so many years ago no that we should not forget that we should not transgress and there are lessons that are eternal for us Harehem Esurafim Torah Asma and that's why these stories in the Torah itself that are um, written there it's written for many generations to come so what are we trying to say from this let's, let's go on why Hashem has given us Torah and so many different prophecies? Because Hashem knows without Torah, without this manual of life, we won't be successful. Look at the majority of people in the whole in the world, they are not happy, they are not successful. Because they don't have a structure of life. And if they do have a structure, there's the structure uh, their structure of life is many times uh, not the the best one and not completed is not complete is biased 
to politics, other interests. Right? It's, it's written by a king or a governor or a king right? that has his own personal interests. Torah is all for our interests. Hashem doesn't need any of our mitzvot. Hashem doesn't uh, need us to keep Torah Tamishbacha, to keep Shabbat, Yom Tov. No, none of those. It's for us that we should keep those mitzvot. Because that, that keeps us connected to certain rituals and certain good things that will help us to live our life a greater life. Something that is more beneficial, more enjoyable, and more fruitful life. So, based on this, Jemayamar Moshe Rabbeinu Lemanachim, as Moshe Rabbeinu told to the angels, Gine yesh b'neichem, yesa hara yesh b'chem, Torah lama lachem, Gine yesh b'neichem. Why, you know, there is a famous story, that the Malachim came to Hashem and they complained, Hashem, don't give Torah to to Adam, don't give it to this Jewish nation. Right? They are not fit to have it. They're going to commit murder, they're going to do all sorts of bad things, they're going to become even worse than animals. Right? Animals have some sort of Rahmanut and mercy to each other. But mankind could become more wicked than any being and more senseless than any being in the whole world. Right? So, Moshe Rabbeinu said, look, you don't need Torah. Is, is either we need Torah or no one? You don't need Torah. Why? Moshe Rabbeinu mentioned, because you don't have Yesahara. You don't have evil inclinations. As we know, Malachim, the angels, are like robots. They're given certain responsibilities to do. Some of them, most of them could do one responsibility at a time. Most of them, what they, once they do their responsibility, they disappear. Right? Or in our language, they die. Death, death and, and life to them is is meaningless in compared to our lives because our lives is physical and they are spiritual right so Moshe Rabbeinu said look you don't have the challenges you don't have that even inclination you don't need Torah which means the only reason we have Torah for is because we're lacking. We're lacking certain things. We have challenges. And in order to become victorious, right, and repair the, the gap and, and, and overcome the challenges, we need this Torah. Throughout the generations, the Torah mit barrechet bebeit. Hamidrash Torah has been learned in Beit Midrash here. Melashon Derisha, and the name is Derisha Ubakasha, which means Beit Hamidrash comes from the word Derisha, explanation, right? uh, depth, uh, understanding the, 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 the Darasha, and Bakasha. Bakasha means request. ولفی حرکشت از سورخ به تورا هشم لامد تورا لامو اسرائیل Based on different necessary lessons that we need, we need to drive from Torah هشم has taught us Torah to his nation از سورخ همی اخر از سوارت محلات و مصفات بعید Now, when it comes to the mitzvah of بعید or shalom بعید نوبه متعود Ta'ot Mesuya Hamafri'ah Laqiyum Hamisfut Edu Hesorotan 
ולפיכך נברר תחילה את הסיבות שבגלל ייתכן ודורשי השם לא יעמוד בזה על אמיתתה של תורה בהשקפה הראשונה. והן שתיים האחד בדעה והשקפה והשני במידות. אוקיי, אז בעצם, in order to be successful in marriage, having a true bite name on Israel, having a bite that is a bite and not like a, a you know, a college room, college room or roommates, they don't have any relationships, they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't have any intention of building something together. This one comes, sleeps, studies something, you know, t- uh, does his homework, you know, maybe speaks over, uh, speaks over the phone a little bit here and there, and goes to sleep. And they all, all of those college students are interested in their own goals. But in marriage, there needs to be common goals. There needs to be conversation, communication, right? And... All that can be achieved only and only through following the manual of life Torah because after all Hashem is our creator and Hashem knows how we function right the being of a of a man and a woman is completely different than each other Uh, the whole uh, understanding, the way that their mind works, everything. You might sit and talk to your wife about all the logics, you might bring all the logics possible to try to convince her. But she, she can tell you, you know, honey, I don't like this. That's it. You don't like it. Ah, oh, this is going to cost me. hundreds of thousand dollars you don't like it right. no not logical no logic soon don't, don't work right. there needs to be different way of conversation there needs to be different understanding there needs to be we need to give certain sensitivity to ones you know to to them that is against our nature our nature is logics numbers Make sense <laughs> yes for question I mean I kept mean I mean daughter no back we can Adam it is oh oh have me no now the essence of a person is that he always likes me no peace of mind there is nobody that you can find that would tell you I wanna I love to argue I love to fight nobody nobody so why couples fight why couples don't understand each other why don't why they don't have peace of mind And a person really desires to have certain lifestyle right that this begins and it goes further hundred two years I oh, this is the, this is the lifestyle I like I like when I come home the home is clean and my my wife opens the door Shalom my dear husband welcome home let's have a tea coffee whatever together let's chat a little bit. And obviously right that is not what uh, we see in reality you go home your wife tells you honey come help me with dishes you want to change the baby's diaper right all these blessings right and you're tired what are we having for dinner you know honey I was so busy I couldn't make dinner let's go out right and you think about the bill 80 100 shame it again all right about yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah 
So we need to see what, how to deal with that. Let's go further. So we all need to have routine. Kol etemura eshinui nechshavim oyevim nevakashat hamenucha shel hadam vehu poveiach metivko mikol davar chashu azover al magal ad hakavua shel chayov. Now, anything that chayov, anything that comes and changes that routine, right? A person could look at it as an enemy to his peace of mind, right? But in fact, your wife is your other half, and obviously she is not your enemy. So how you wanna deal with all this, uh, you know, misconfort? Hayot. Now. It says in the Torah that Issachar saw that Menucha, peace of mind, is good. And then it says in Pirgavot, whoever accepts the yoke of Torah, whoever accepts the Torah and mitzvot, and he becomes a Torah uh, observant individual, then Hashem will remove the yoke of mundane things the the, the 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 yoke of work the yoke of all the limitations that comes in one's life that is against torah learning and misfood so what's the key the key is to stick with torah learning and how it's going to be who's going to pay the bills obviously hashem has his own ways right? it says in masachet berachot Chasidim Aishonim Hayu Shoin Cha'achat Ifnei Tefida That the previous pious people, Sadikim, righteous people, they used to prepare themselves for Tefida one hour before Shacharit, one hour before Mincha, one hour before Arvit, and then the Tefida would take one hour. And after the Tefida was over, one hour they would sit and think about the tefillah. So, three times three is nine. Ask the Gemara, nine hours a day, they're praying and they're preparing and all that. How are they going to make their ends, uh, ends meet. meet? Exactly. How are they going to pay their bills? So, it says in the Gemara, that Hashem is going to bless them. That which they can accomplish with two working right to eight hours a day they they get it in two hours is that possible of course you look back in your life you find the days that is so fruitful that 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 one day perhaps encapsulates right ten days equivalent of ten days of working is it hard for Hashem to send that customer? Make it make it fruitful? Of course not. Or you could make a, you know not so much income, but every dollar of your money will go to a right place. A person would not have would not have tickets, would not get lawsuits, would not get disease. His money is not going to waste to things that are unexpected. His money will have beracha. And who gives that beracha? One's wife through Hashem. Hashem sends it to one's wife. So much so that our rabbis teach us, Shekhinah, Hashem's presence comes for one's wife under the chuppah and in one's household comes because of wife. Oh, Rabbi, is not fair, but about us? That's the truth. That's the truth. 
آدم و موسی و امرو کل یه so one who accepts Torah and misfort this is the punchline one who accepts Torah and misfort Hashem with blessing with true blessings and not some those who some individual things you know the most saving they have the most secure they're gonna be not true not true in fact the more savings a person has the more you can lose uh, you, the more you could lose or the more a person can legally get into trouble and challenges now I was told I don't know how the, uh, attorneys could do it but I, I, apparently attorneys can find out if somebody is truly rich and then they consider right, suing that individual going after his assets and if they find that he, there is no assets they don't take the case it's not worth it right. آدم هموسی به طورا هموسی به طورا هت همه نوخه و من وقتش اتا A person who finds Torah and seeks Torah learning سارخ لیزایر میپنه میخشل رمز آدف خزا به عمریم کل عامر اندی الا طورا افید و طورا اندو At the same time it says in مسقل یوا موت If you say I love my life is Torah I do nothing else than Torah. Then one should know, no, he doesn't have Torah. Why? Because Hashem comes and challenges him. Uh, this Malach that Hashem created, uh, Malach that uh, comes challenge, is, uh, is going to bring him so many thoughts. Go work already. You got to buy a new car. Go do this, go do that. He tries to distract him. Therefore, a person needs to know how to continue being a Ben Torah, keeping Torah and Misfot, and through this is going to have a successful Shalom Bayit, and all the blessings. Kol she'eno be'asiya eno be'lemida. Now, if a person doesn't bring it into action, he wouldn't learn it, right? And there was actions and learning go hand in hand. They work together. So, Be'zat Hashem, uh, it, it ends with this uh, paragraph a person who truly wants from his Torah and his word true peace of mind and he doesn't accept the, the yoke of Torah and in other words he doesn't fully accept all the Torah and his word that shows he just wants the peace of mind. He doesn't need the Torah. Because to be a true Torah observant individual, you get challenges. It cannot be without challenges. It's not like, you know, you keep Torah, right? misfort, everything will go smooth. Of course, it's going to be a lot of blessings, but there will be challenges. Right? And if he doesn't accept challenges, even the Torah he doesn't have. مصاف همه نوخا مئینیانه عالم شهد تورا نوتنت that is one of the things that منوخا comes to تورا but has challenges right at all I'm his word شهد تورا متیلا انا آدم and when a person keeps the accepts the all in his word then اقدوش بارخو is going to help him. Hashem is going to extend his helping hand. That Hashem, may Hashem help us to build a bad name on Israel with keeping Torah and Misfot and accepting yoke of Hashem and Torah. Amen.